Now to first and goal. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. That's a gain of seven, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Penny will try to punch it in. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Russell Wilson. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Seahawks capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Now Myers for the extra point. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Myers now to kick it away. McKenzie will not return this and it'll be brought out to the 25. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and you. incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long, soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Second and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. 
And his throw is going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The Bills on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll get this across midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as he stopped at the 48. Now Allen, got to have this one. Eluding the pressure right. Going deep for Diggs. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bills have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Seahawks, looks like they've recovered. They have. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now it's Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. You have confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him to look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly. And, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Flushed out right. The Seahawks go for it, but can't convert. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Allen. 
And it's knocked away and incomplete. Back-to-back -in -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Allen escaping the pressure right. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Sidney Jones. They had him back deep, got the...